All right, welcome back. Uh, next up is alert dialogues uh, with multiple choices. And we'll see this time, uh, the new thing, I guess, uh, is, is how to use string array resources. Um, and we're going to be able to, to, um, to do things like um, show a whole list of items here, right? And our, our sort of target app here is we're going to be asking a question about, you know, which learning method uh, helps you to learn, right, the best. Um, and you could have just, just you know, sort of a, a checklist. You could do radio buttons. You could even have this, this sort of uh, multiple uh, item checklist here where you can, you can choose multiple things, right? So um, lots of good stuff that we have coming up. Uh, before we start, I just wanted to show you my solution for the last one. All right, so last time we, we had the, the exit one here and you wrote this. Hopefully you got a solution that looks something like this. I um, wanted to show, tell you a couple other things. So one is if, if you hadn't figured it out, clicking outside of the dialog is going to close it. So it's just like the cancel button that's going to dismiss it. Um, of course, clicking cancel will also dismiss it. Um, what else do we have here? So the toast button, if I click that, we can see I have a little toast that comes up you know, with, with, with my own message. Again, you could have picked anything. Uh, and then, of course, if I click exit, this should exit the activity altogether. And give it a second, and there it goes. All right. Um, so that's great. But as, as we saw a minute ago, the, the dialogues certainly allow us to do more than buttons. And here really are the, the, um, the types of lists, right? Just sort of standard lists here, lists with radio buttons, and then uh, lists with checkboxes. All right. All right, very good. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, start coding, but let's let's see what some of our options are here. Um, still gonna use an alert uh, an alert dialog. So most of what we're gonna do is gonna be very similar, um, but we do have methods here to use instead of set message. All right. So we're gonna be using uh, set items, right? Set single choice items or set multi choice items. And all of them are just going to cause that, that list of items to, to be displayed. Um, and the listener, of course, will tell us once they've clicked on, on any of the items. Uh, so let's take a look to see what we have here. So we have um, the first parameter of any one of these is going to be an array of char sequence, or an array of strings, really, um, for the items. So that's, that's common to all of them. Uh, you notice that all of them are going to have a listener. So um, an on-click listener, if you just have items, or if you have radio, um, buttons, you also get an on-click listener. It turns out that for multi-choice items, there's a special listener for that. So this on multi-choice click listener. Uh, and then, you know, for the single and multiple choice items, there's going to be a few more parameters here um, that, that we're going to have to um, learn a little bit about to use. But we'll get back to that too um, in a second. Uh, so this, this array of strings, right? So whenever we've had strings in Android, we've just you know, we've always created string resources. And Android also allows us the same capability if we have arrays of strings, All right? So what we're gonna do is define what's called the string array resource. We're gonna put it in arrays.xml. Uh, and we're gonna have one, um, one string array in here, and we'll call it learning methods array. And it's gonna contain within it, right, a list of items. And these items are just going to be strings themselves. And they're going to correspond to the different learning methods that, that we're going to ask our user about. All right. Let's go ahead and, and do that right now in code. So I know you could just copy and paste this. And you might feel like doing that. Uh, not a huge deal if you, if you choose to. Um, but it's important for us to know how to make them from scratch, too. So you should probably create it from scratch at least once. Then after that, it's your call. All right. Uh, inside values, um, we're going to make a new. Android XML file, and we'll call this guy arrays.xml. All right, um, if we want to add something, we can add, we'll notice here we have an option for a string array, and we were going to call this guy something like learning methods array, nice descriptive name, uh, and that just, that just creates the string array. It's empty, of course, we need to put some items inside. Uh, one way to just stub one in is to say add an item. And again, I selected the array before I added the item, right? Uh, clicking the, the item um, asks me for the value. Uh, what I'd really like to do is to, to get a string here. And it's, that's one thing, this, this doesn't do well with that. But the XML will do fine. So I'm going to go inside here and say, hey, give me a string. And the first one we'll say is, is uh, Say lecture and demos, right? So maybe you learn best from from lecture and demos. 
Or maybe you learn best from labs, right? So that's great. Uh, or maybe you learn best with uh, with what else, right? So maybe maybe reading is best for you. You just look stuff up on the internet, right? So Stack Overflow is your best friend, right? And yeah, it's it's our friend certainly. Uh, so no problem with that. Um, what else, right? So maybe you're one of these people that that exams actually do it for you, right? And nothing wrong with that. I mean, exams are kind of nice. In fact, we're gonna we use exams in this class. Uh, very much as unguided labs, right? So to, to make sure that you've really internalized things. Right? So so no problem with that. And finally, uh, maybe there's something we didn't hit, so so we have a string for that also. So the other string here. All right. Uh, simply just made a string array. All right. Let's let's code up uh, one of these guys here. So I'm going to um, go to my show learning survey. And by now, after practicing in the last one, you should be able to make one of these guys pretty, pretty quickly. So, uh, dialog fragment df is new uh, dialog fragment that I'm going to override. Custom one right here, df dot show. Let's see who can type faster, me or you. Uh, I'll probably make mistakes though. Um, yeah, all right. Let's pass in parameters. So, get fragment management. And I don't need a tag. Um, here I want to override on create dialog. That guy right there. And within here I want uh, an alert dialog with the builder inner class. Builder is new alert dialog. Uh, I got to type dialog dot builder. Oops. Control space help me out here. Uh, the context is our activity. So we'll call get activity, and then we will return builder dot create. All right, we have some options to set here, so let's let's go ahead and do this. So uh, what do we have? We had a title on this guy, and I think pretty sure we have a resource for this guy. So a string, and this is going to be the learning methods question that we're asking them, right? So which learning activity makes you uh, to learn best? Uh, do not set the message, right? This would have do very bad things. Uh, instead, we want to set items, and it doesn't let you uh, do both of them. Uh, so even if you had items and you had a message, it would just show the message, and then you wouldn't get to see your items. Wouldn't be very fun. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, the the version that that um, that it takes a resource ID, and this is going to be r dot array dot learning methods array. Um, we'll work just fine there, uh, and then we uh, isn't that nice, All right? So it's going to inflate this guy right into a string array for us. Uh, pretty beautiful. Uh, then we need a listener, so we need a new, and you knew it, not just any old on-click listener. We want a dialog uh, version. Let's see, if I just hit uh, on-click listener, it will actually ask me if I want one. So, so sure, just make sure we grab the the that one semicolon at the end to make the compiler happy. And let's see, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, I'm not sure that it did this right, right? So, um, yeah, so we have a view on click listener, but it didn't grab the right one. So let's, let's go ahead and qualify this guy here. Dialog interface dot on click listener. Um, and much happier about that. All right, so maybe in the future I'll just go ahead and, and type dialog interface dot and let the onclick listener come up. All right, uh, very good. So what do we want to do? So our onclick method here um, gives us the dialog, and then it asks us which one uh, we the or actually it doesn't ask us; it tells us uh, the uh, parameter of the one that was clicked. Um, so let's go ahead and extract that. So s is going to be uh, let's see what what would it be here. So we need to basically inflate this guy. So we want to essentially get a string from this. Um, so what we can do is ask our resources, right? Kind of like we did with uh, with colors, right? We had to get the resources first. Um, but one of the things that we can do is we can say get string array, and that's going to pass back an array of strings, right? I'm going to use the same one here. 
our, um, r.array.learningMethodsArray. That gives me an array of strings. If I want to index it into it immediately, I can just uh, do that. And just right after that, um, say which. And there's uh, they're going to be zero uh, index, just like the array itself. So, so no problem. Uh, great. Let's go ahead and, and make a toast, right? So we will toast, um, make a text. The context, again, is going to be uh, the activity itself. So get activity. The text that we're going to use is something like, uh, yeah, oops, let's spell here, yeah, for, space, and then we'll put that string in there. All right, and we'll put an exclamation point at the, at the end. Um, so it'll say like, yeah, for labs, or whatever it's going to be. Toast dot, uh, so that this is the duration. I'll show it up uh, for long. And then remember, we want to chain with this guy uh, the show method so that it actually shows up on the screen. All right. uh, looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and run it. OK, so the emulator's up. Learning methods. All right, so here we see our title, which learning method helps you to learn. And we just choose one, right? So which one do you want to choose? Mm, your choice. Uh, for me, uh, what am I going to say here? Reading. I love to read. Good stuff. Um, and there's our toast. Yay for reading in the web. Great thing, right? Um, you can try it, of course, on, on any of the other ones. Make sure it works. Uh, looks great. All right. Uh, what else could we do? All right. Getting the slides caught up here. Again, just a reminder, uh, please don't use set message and set items. Uh, just, just won't work. All right. So we did set items. Uh, we had our, our, um, our array here on the title within our listener. Um, this is a little bit different way of doing it if you wanted to. You probably noticed in our code that we had um, our string array. We were re uh, referring to a couple times. So we basically had it here, and then we had it here again. So you might wonder, could I just extract it out? And, and sure, you could, right? So you could um, say, activity, give me the resources, um, the, st the string array, and just extract out the array itself. Um, and you could, you could use that. Uh, you know, sort of separately for the um, for the text here. Okay, um, so no problem. All right, so that's just for the list. Uh, and list, as we just saw, uses set items. All right, so it's going to turn out to be very easy to change this to make the other options. In fact, I'm not going to be coding them all up together, but I'll, I'll point you to sort of the the key things. Right. Uh, so for radio buttons, rather than set items, you're going to set single choice items instead of set items. Uh, and you need to set which one is initially selected. Right? The listener is going to be the same. Everything else is going to be very, very similar. Uh, so what would we do here? So this, say we wanted labs to be um, selected initially. This would be item 0, 1, 2. Right? So we're going to need uh, to pass in that 2 there. And other than that, it's very similar to, to set items. So taking a look at, at uh, what this would look like, uh, you see here, here's our set single choice items. Extra parameter, all right. There's the two, um, and then we have our dialog interface on click listener, and everything else is going to be identical to what it was just for the regular items, all right. So um, go ahead and make that change if you want. Play around with it. Good to experiment. Uh, experimenting is a great thing. Uh, love the curiosity, right? So so good stuff there. I'll give you a minute to do that. All right. Hopefully you made the change, uh, and and you're ready to move on, all right. Continuing uh, for checkboxes, right? Our last option here, we're going to set multi-choice items, right? And this is just going to be simply um, uh, same as the others, except that instead of passing in a single index, we actually pass in an array of booleans uh, that shows which ones are initially checked, right? So you'd essentially have to say true, 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 false uh, to get this initial setup right here. And the listeners we said is a little bit different. It works very similarly. Um, but it's a multi-choice click listener. All right. um, so what is this going to look like in the emulator? So let's go ahead and, and pull in an emulator here, the real thing. Uh, so this one, if I, if I click labs, it's going to say something like, yay for labs. right? And if I uncheck something, like lecture demos, it actually says, boo for lecture demos. Wait, no, that's, that's, that's kind of negative. Uh, oh well. Um, so how do we do that? Let's, let's, let's take a look at some code. All right. uh, so Here's our code for, for setting multi-choice items. Uh, we see that, that we do have um, our Boolean array here. 
And while there are string arrays, I don't know of any Boolean arrays. Uh, so I just hard coded it in. In fact, I just, just put the whole thing right here anonymously. Uh, we have an, an, an on multi-choice click listener that has an on click method. And the reason this guy is a little bit different is that not only uh, does it take a dialog and which one was checked, uh, but it also passes in an extra Boolean so you could say, um, so you know whether it was checked or unchecked, right? And that's how I could differentiate between yeah and boo. Um, this solution right here actually doesn't make any distinction. Whenever it's, uh, whenever on click is called, uh, it just goes ahead and says yeah, uh, and that's fine. Uh, do you know how you would how you would use this guy? Can you think of of like a tiny little change that you could make to this one line of code here? Okay, so you might be thinking using if else, uh, that would be fine. Um, what I did, the smallest change possible, is actually to just use a little turn array operator here. This thing is super simple, so I don't mind using this. I don't, I don't think this is an abuse of it at all. Uh, but we basically act, ask, is it checked? And if so, um, we'll say yeah. Otherwise, we'll say boo, right? So plain and simple, just like that. Um, go ahead and, and, and try this out. Uh, see what you think, right? I hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you back for our next lesson.